The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hands, touched him and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad, so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading reminds us that in the Old Testament, leprosy or other skin diseases is always associated with sin. It is always associated with sin. And those who have leprosy, they have to shave their head as you have listened to it and they put something that will cover, but worse, every day, in other readings, you have a bell. When people, you see people coming near you, you, you ring the bell and you shout, unclean, unclean. You are being made distance from people, you are being disassociated, you are being neglected. I do not know if you have seen people who have leprosy. But if you want to see, you can go to Tala Leprosarium. We have been there many times. And same sharing not necessarily the same people that I talk to who have lepers would say it's difficult to have leprosy, but it is more painful that your very family avoided you, denied you, abandoned you, even they are so ashamed about you. And they express their prostration. Mother Teresa of Calcutta have said, have said this, the greatest poverty in the world today is not that you are begging. It is not that you don't have money. The greatest poverty is being deprived of love. That's the greatest poverty. You are being deprived of love. You are being thrown away. You are being neglected. That's the greatest poverty. Pag tinitingnan niyo yung mga dwellers, masaya sila. Kahit wala silang makain. Because they know they still have friends and they still have a family. Of course, they appreciate their being cared. And you have heard this, that people are poor, 
Not because they don't have money, but because the only thing they have is money. People are poor not because they don't have money, but because the only thing they have is money. And your relationship is simply based on what people can get from you. Yun ang malungkot na kwento. Meron ka lang kaibigan, meron ka lang nakakasama, kasi may pera ka. At ikaw ay takot na takot na maghirap, kasi alam mo, ang unang mawawala ay ang mga taong ito. Ang mga tawag natin sa kanila ay user-friendly. Mga user-friendly. Manggagamit lang sila. Kung saan sila pwedeng makinabang. Kaya pag wala ka ng pakinabang sa kanila, hindi mo na sila maaasahan. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, what is the second reading trying to tell us? Whatever you do, do not forget that you should be doing everything for the glory of God, not the opposite. Never commit sin because sin separates us not only from God but also from one another. On, also from one another. Today is Valentine's Day and my heart goes to the children, to the children whose parents get separated because of a wrong relationship. Of course, lately I've heard the news, I was struck that in the U.S. we have 100 nurses who pass away due to COVID. 100 nurses. Doctors are not included. They only counted nurses. But we also have nurses who pass away in our country. Pero anong pinagkaiba nun? Nagpunta ka sa ibang bansa para meron ka may bibigay sa mga kamag-anak mo sa pamilya mo dito sa Pilipinas. At doon sila binawian ng buhay. May mga batang na uulila dala ng pangyayaring ito. Mahirap man ipaliwanag sa bata pag sila'y nagtatanong, bakit nangyayari ito, Father? Ang sagot ko lang ay, hindi ko alam. Pagdating ng araw, pag nakausap mo ang Diyos, yun ang tanungin mo. Pero mas mahirap sagutin yung tanong na, ang bata ay pinapapili na mag-ina Sino ka nino ka sasama? Sa tatay mo o sa nanay mo? Because the parents decided to separate. The brokenness, the brokenness of today's because of those illicit relationships that cause us greater poverty. A question that will always be asked and no answer can be given. Kaya nga, pinaalala ko, ngayong Valentine's, yung mga mag-asawa, itanong nyo sa isa't isa, gaano kalaki ang katapatan na meron kayo sa isa't isa? Sinaalang-alang nyo ba ang ibang tao sa inyong mga desisyon. Lalong-lalo na yung mga may anak. Hindi sila naging kitongin, pero nangungulila sila kasi alam nila nalilito sila kung saan sila ilalagay. There are worse thing compared to leprosy. The neglect the abandonment, distancing oneself. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, and why do Jesus said to the leper, 
Go to the priest. Show yourself as a fruit. Do not tell anyone. Why? What's wrong with telling anybody about me being healed? For one simple answer. Because I did not come simply to heal, but to restore. To restore relationships. Hindi yung hahanapin mo lang ang Diyos. Dala ng iyong pangangailangang personal. Hahanapin mo lang ang Diyos. Sunod ka lang ng sunod sa mga healing priest. Marami tayong ganyan. Sunod lang ng sunod sa healing priest na hindi nila tinatanong, bakit nga ba ako may sakit? Ano ba ang tinuturo ng Diyos sa akin, sa aking karamdaman? Because you can be healed physically, but still broken emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. The healing that Jesus offers to the leper is not simply the healing of the sickness, but so you will be reintegrated again to the community. That the community will not find reason to abandon you, to neglect you. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, the healing is simply a manifestation so that you can go back. If you read the scriptures, Many healing, Jesus would say, go home. Go home. Mother Teresa of Calcutta have said this, if you want to be happy, go home. Build your family. Strengthen your family. Go home. Don't be the reason of one's brokenness in your own family. In your own family. Sa mga lalaki, nag-post ako today, please don't entertain the thought that if you have many girlfriends, you are handsome. Sometimes you have to understand that when things are cheap, it invites and attracts many buyers. Lalong-lalo na pag pwede kang tawaran. Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. And somebody made a comment, pero katulad rin yan ng Diamond Father. Marami ding na-attract. Of course, you are always attracted to what is beautiful, exp expensive, but regardless, a diamond can only owned by one, not by everyone. <coughs> if you are a husband, you only have one wife. You can never have many girlfriends. If you are a husband, you can only have one wife, not many girlfriends. Because you are making yourself cheap. Kung ikaw din ay babae, hindi ka pwedeng maraming boyfriend. Salaula ka, sorry for the words. Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. It is not the sickness that separates us. It is the sin. Because we have failed to do what pleases God, as St. Paul has said. Remember this. Healing of physical ailment is just a manifestation of God telling you, restore your relationship. Go home. Don't be a reason for anybody's brokenness. Go home. Parents, please remember this. It is not your joy or your happiness. 
is always important. Sasabihin ng iba, masama ba, Father, na maging masaya ako? Kahit kailan hindi masama yun. Ang masama dun ay gumawa ka ng kasalanan. That you made yourself separated from the people that God has given you. And you have separated yourself from God. I would like to invite husbands and wives in today's Valentine's Day before we enter the first Sunday of Lent. Take time to sit down together. God knows. God knows. Nothing is hidden. Alam ng Diyos ang inyong mga pagluha at pagtawa. Alam ng Diyos ang inyong mga kahinaan at kalakasan. Alam ng Diyos ang inyong mga kabiguan at tagumpay. Alam ng Diyos ang inyong mga pangarap. Walang perfectong mag-asawa. But today, in Valentine's Day, I would like to urge husband and wives that you pray together. Pray for healing. Kung ano man ang sakit o sama ng loob na dinulot ng pagkakamali na sino man, na ay merong kababaang loob na paghingi ng tawad at merong pangako na hindi ko na yan uulitin. Hari na wa merong pagpapatawad at panibagong pagmamahal. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, huwag mong aasahan na ikaw ay mamahalin kung patuloy ka sa iyong kawalan ng katapatan. Huwag mong aasahan. Huwag mong aasahan na patuloy ang pagtitiwala ng iyong misis o ng iyong mister kung ikaw ay patuloy na ginagawa ang mali sa iyong buhay. Please keep this in mind. Healing is just a way of restoring you to the relationship that God has given you. Mabuti pang may ketong, pero maayos ang buhay kaysa malinis ang balat sa, sa laula naman ang puso. Sorry for the words. Amen. Huwag pasaway. May virus pa. This coming Wednesday is already as Wednesday. For those who have been asking, we will only have one Mass, the 7 o'clock Mass. Don't worry. If the Holy Father has dispenses us of the Sunday obligation, how much more of the sacramentals having ashes in your forehead or in your head? Wag kayo mag but you can join us in the burning of ashes through online on Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And as a family, we have posted the prayer where the head of the family will lead the family in your prayer. And you can be the one who will put ashes in the forehead, I mean, in the crown sa puyo ng inyong mga kamag-anakan. Ano po? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, bumawi na lang kayo next year kung mayroon ng virus, I mean mayroon ng vaccine, o ipagdasal nyo yung bagong research na pwede na ang nasal spray to kill the virus. At least hindi ka tuturukan. Nasal spray na lang. Di po ba? Gustong gusto mo magpaalagay ng, ng abo ngayon? Wala. Bawiin mo na lang next year. Sabihin mo na lang sa akin, Father, babawiin ko today. Lalagyan kitang tatlo. Isa sa noo, sa dalawang pisngi, di tatlo. Ano? At pag nilabas mo ang dila mo, lalagyan ko rin. Ano po? Ha? Go beyond. Go beyond. I rather have no ashes in my forehead, but repent from my sin, rather than having an ashes but continue with my sinfulness. Ang abo ay palatandaan ng pagsisisi. Hindi bali ng walang abo kung mayroong pagsisisi at pagtalikod sa kasalanan, 
kaysa meron kang abo, patuloy ka sa iyong pagkakasala. Going back to what I've said, I rather be a leper with a clean heart than with a good skin but with unfaithful heart. Hindi bali ng may ketong ako na malinis ang puso kaysa malinis ang balat sa laula naman at walang katapatan ang puso. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.